Most people in America know where their rights begin and end, but there is always a liar and a computer hacker that steals information by having stolen a cell phone or takes information by having hacked a computer and then passes it around in a gossip network to destroy relationships. Liars and sibling sets do this. They steal information, they steal a computer, they start watching things that are not their lawful right to be involved in, and they ruin things. We also have people in outside community settings that think they have the right to do things against someone's life. They don't. The liars of America take rights. They steal other people's rights to their livelihood, their living, and their lifestyle. They steal people's paperwork, meaning their legal documents. They commit fraud in records. They develop ill willed illegal records, and they ruin lives. They commit cybercrime by attacking someone's computer in the middle of the night and practically ruining its screen, destroying its internal sides, and openly it's not their right. They do it for a sense of power, to feel powerful in a victim's life, but all they end up showing their friends and families is that they're liars. They commit fraud on someone's name. They benefit from someone else's intellectual property or copywritten work, and they think they're doing the right thing. They're not. They see that individual, and it's written all over their face. I'm a liar. I'm a thief from you. I'm stealing from you, and I don't care, but I do because I know that I should be better. I know that you should regard me for who I am instead of the shit that I pull on you. And openly because of the shit that I'm pulling on you, I'm likely to end up in jail or prison, but I don't care because I don't think anybody notices, and that's not true. We have people in the force all over America today. We have sleeper agents of all kinds of law enforcement everywhere today. They are reviewing not only the local police and local sheriff, they are reviewing you, and they're doing it through your technology too. You see, the foolishness of you is thinking that your cell phone is not seen by a federal agent. Companies of men like to set up families and put them in difficulties. Companies of men like to predatorily profile someone and put some them one with them so that they'll fall in love. And all they're doing is stealing information and ideas from the person that that individual is really supposed to be with. The lie that people tell themselves is that they have the right to be anywhere on top of someone's life just to piss on them, just to pressure on them, just to say, I'm right here, nee, 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 boo, look at me, look at me, look at me. No, look at you. You're acting like a three-year-old who doesn't know where their boundaries begin and end. You've got a husband, but you want somebody else's. Or you just want to be in control of them. Hard to say with some of these panhandlers on the street. But I'm saying to them, go get a real life, go get a real wife, go get a child, go do your duties as a man. Otherwise, stay the fuck away from me. And if you're a woman, no offense, you're not smart enough for me. Because if you were smart enough for me, we'd have an intelligent conversation. But instead, you play in and out at night when I'm asleep and think you have the right to fucking put your hands on me inside my pants, inside my pockets, and steal things from my clothing and other things. You are a liar of America. You are a bastard of Satan. And there's no fucking way you're not going to jail soon. You see, there's plenty of people watching across the parking lot, literally standing behind a tree with those green type of binoculars where they can see you in movement, you know, those night vision things, they can do that today. They can also do it from the satellites in the sky. And your cell phone is your walking tower of you. That tower of peas are ready to fall over on you because you failed yourself. You lied and you stole things. You thought your little man was going to help you. He is not. You fail yourself every fucking time you move close to me when I have said, stay the fuck away from me. When a man says that, he means it. If a woman says that to the man, that's one thing. But if she lies to everybody like she's done that, she's just a liar of the land today. A liar of the land likes to play drama so she can get everybody's help, everybody's attention, everybody's everything except the truth of what God wants her to see. That she is out of alignment with the Lord's house, she is not living herself for God, and she's literally ruining her life pretending to be something she is not. She is not the queen of Bathsheba. She doesn't have the right to command all men. She barely can command her own man, who she's chosen in her way to be with till the end. So focus on him. Focus on your family. Focus on your version of whatever the fuck your faith is. But stay away from men like me and others who don't need you in our lives, ruining our life because you just want to play a game. You just want to be in control. 
and you just want to lie to yourself about who you are in this world. You're no queen, and you're certainly no princess of God. Because a Proverbs 31 woman knows where her boundaries begin and end. But a woman who is poorly betrothed, who has chosen not to be equally yoked, has screwed her life before the Lord. In America, we have rights, and you keep thinking you got rights to me. You got no fucking rights to me. You don't own this sidewalk. You don't own this building. You don't even own your own fucking company. But you keep thinking you keep fucking me over with your lies to police. And I tell you, you are legally liable, and you are legally liable to a man like me. Because I have rights, and the Second Amendment says I have the right to defend myself. But you're so ill-willed and so immoral and so illegal, you don't even give me that right. You want to take that right from me? You don't have one fucking right to do that under any concept of life and liberty in America or any concept of the pursuit of prosperity. When you stole from me to make a million and didn't pay me a fucking thing, you put your life costly before the Lord. Because the Lord knows what you have done. He knows how often and he knows whether or not you're part of his son, his planet, his house of the Lord. In America, we have rights to speak about God and yet Americans who are evangelists in their own time, in their own heart, in their own way of talking to someone, then don't want to hear it back to them after they've walked away from God. Isn't that interesting? My mother was an evangelist her whole life, and now when you try to talk to her about God, she doesn't want to talk about it because she's probably worried about going to the big house or whether she's going to go to heaven or not. Despite having loved her 316 uh, verse her whole life, and the reality is that people who are perverse often perverse the library of the Bible this way. I had an eldest sister who always talked about God, but now you can't even barely talk to her about faith because she gets upset. I have a middle sister who can quote the Bible verses like anybody's business, but if you try to talk to her about God, she thinks she's superior in it. No, you're not. You see, you chose to time out of someone's life. You chose to abuse privacy information. You chose to gossip, and it harmed a person. It got them literally beaten up. It got them sexually assaulted. It got them raped. Congratulations, right before God. 